So this is my corner of the shop. That is my table. And the shelf. Some parts from some projects on it. This is where my batteries and chargers go. Large tap and die set. And some random, slightly unorganized stuff. This here, if it focuses, is about 500 bucks worth of steel caps and plugs. Uh, cooling system refiller kit in the back. Plastic caps and plugs. And bigger caps and a few hydraulic extra hydraulic gauges and testing fittings and stuff and then my electrical kit which looks like somebody has something out of it this is just a nice handy little test lead kit just a tackle box full of electrical testing stuff Basically, I have everything in here I need to diagnose and most things I need to repair, any electrical. And then toolbox, computer, phone, warranty tools. And I guess top drawer down. This is the socket and wrench or socket and ratchet drawer um, I guess it's probably hard to see kind of what sockets are all here but there's a uh, my real big sockets are in the bot bottom drawer they didn't fit up here bunch of swivel sockets right here uh, Long Allen bits, all my extensions, and another swivel socket, deep swivel socket set, which I didn't have room to put anywhere. I see someone has my long ratchet, half inch ratchet, There's a couple of breaker bars along the back. And then more kits of specialty sockets. Uh, Torx, big, big Torx kit under here. Uh, long Allen ball type sockets. These are uh, tools for setting valves. And dial tape torque wrench. Tiny torque wrench. And Large crow foots. Looks like someone has inch and seven eighths. And a quarter inch torque wrench. And more crow foots. More crow foots under there. These are large Allen sockets, three quarter inch drive. These are more Allen sockets, I believe. And somebody has my three eighths torque wrench, half inch torque wrench. Swivel sockets, chrome swivel sockets for getting in tight spots. And uh, these are tap, tap drive sockets and angle gauge, turn tool for Cummins, nice little finger ratchet, and handy dandy torque adapters. Some Torx. Bunch of stuff. Don't have a big enough box to put everything nicely. Um, then the next drawer. It's mostly complete. Let's see. Wrenches. So, standard, standard, metric, metric. Metric, standard, metric, standard, 
metric, metric, bunch of different crescent wrenches. Nice little 13 mil wrench here for getting around corners. I have more metric than standard because that's more what we have case. Uh, big pry bar, sledgehammer, smaller pry bar, three quarter inch breaker bar, a couple bigger wrenches that didn't stand up in the rack. They're not the biggest wrenches I have. There's supposed to be a pry bar right here that I have at home. So. Here's my pry bar drawer. Bunch of different styles and shapes. Uh, kind of you see what you get kind of thing. These here are all adjustable. Not this one, obviously, but the rest of them. Pretty handy. The heads adjust. And then underneath that, there is screwdrivers. Not a super full drawer, but long screwdrivers. Somebody must have one of those. I should have four. And nut drivers. Standard metric, basic screwdrivers, tiny screwdrivers, specialty screwdrivers, um, like Torx and Robertson, and this is just a, not a screwdriver, it's a sharpening tool for bench grinders. These are handy little tools for clipping on the end of like AC, hole, AC lines to seal them off and any other line um, for keeping things clean. Plastic scrapers, uh, right angle wrenches, smaller, smaller wrenches, and little uh, cleaner tools, whatever you want to call them. Seal puller, Fire drawer, uh, looks like there's a just one vice grip missing, the rest look like they're here. Some are stacked on top of each other. Um, these are snap ring pliers, um, whatever. This one is modified. So. That's why I have three. These are just two different styles. And some nice little uh, around the corner pliers there. All the small pliers. Um, this little mini that I needed once or twice. Yeah, these are very handy. We call them Nipexes. Well, it's Nipex brand. Um, I think it's a Cobra. Yeah, Nipex Cobra. But just whatever. Easily adjustable, handy. And underneath that. Another tool that I haven't figured out best way to organize yet. Another drawer, I should say. Um, basically, all my air tools. Three quarter inch drive, half inch drive, three inch drive, cut off, 90 degree die grinder, normal die grinder, a couple buffing tools. I'm having a mind blank. That's this little uh, Mac air hammer is like the best you can get. Like, it's amazing. 
a couple of drills. Oh, air ratchet, that's what that's called, of course. I don't know why I have mine blanks. This is where I keep my magnets along the back. Some burr bits for uh, die grinder. Normal bit set, drill bit set, short drill bit set, a few larger drill bits, another drill bit set. And this is a kind of like a hole saw, but not really a hole saw kit. Um, very handy. Some more, these are die grinder bits, and then step drill bits, and reverse drill bits under that. And all the attachments, stuff like that. Under that is hammers, uh, dead blows, and normal basically. In this tray are just a bunch of alignment studs that I've made over the years. And bottom drawer is kind of my little bit of an everything drawer. The large wrench is there. They carry on from my wrench drawer, which is one and five sixteenths, and then it goes to two and a half. And this is three quarter inch sockets. And some shop supply stuff. Uh, stethoscope. Uh, a bunch of C clamps extra larger wrenches and lifting and chaining chains and clevises battery post battery cable puller yeah a bunch of stuff these are for my little cordless buffer tool That's just the center here, this small top drawer. It's kind of, these are feeler gauges and feeler gauge holder. Um, yeah, extra stuff, like, you know, tweezers, tweezers there, batteries. This is a stamp set for, um, I think they're numbers. Basically, just little number punches. A uh, couple of calipers, scissors, mirror, knife. And these are also calipers, spring calipers, three different, like inside, outside, and um, pointed. And temperature gun, little pincher, pecker upper. And yeah, little compass for checking magnetic magnetivity on things. And this is all my punches. Not all of them. I see there's some missing. These bits here are all uh, air hammer bits, as well as this one in the corner here. Uh, the bearing raised punches over here, and then roll pin punches here. Well, these are two, but these are my sacrificial ones where I can, uh, whatever, modify them if I need, rack them if I need. This is a basically a self center punch, it's just spring loaded, push it down, and it centers the punches by itself without hitting it. And these are splitting chisels, very handy. I have two of them. Somebody's probably using one of them. And picks along the back. These are kind of big, big picks. These are actually flat O-ring ladles, we'll call them. They're just uh, 
kind of handy for installing o-rings in hard to reach spots when you can't just put it in with your finger curved ones different lengths these are just smaller o-ring picks smaller long ones uh, a couple of scrapers and more picks files uh, and this is kind of a really uh, aggressive file it's meant actually for brake rotors for taking down the big uh, ridges on brake rotors but it works when you have some aggressive filing to do small files and my electrical drawer I'll call it those uh, are the only DeWalt I have left at work as well as this is actually DeWalt Mac very handy um, the small head just makes it nicer than the Milwaukee which is why I kept it um, for getting hard to reach spots a little uh, cordless ratchet and then this is my Milwaukee buffer tool. I don't know why everything's turning up in orange on here, but it's actually red. Everything that's orange is actually red. Um, so this is, like, we call it Peppy in the back shop. It's M12, 250 foot-pounds. Like, the handiest tool ever. As you can see, it's seen wear and tear because I use it about 20% of the time that is being used. For the rest, it runs around the shop those are long pliers a bunch of hose pulling pliers and angle pliers straight pliers and under here there's upholstery tools basically new half inch drive torquey sometimes it out on uh, well on certain Certain uh, circumstances, certain uses, it outdoes my three quarter inch air impact. And then a drill and three eighth drive. Uh, we call it mini big. It's three, just three eighth drive M18. So it's a little bit more powerful than that. Um, but yeah, M18 instead of M12. And just a normal three eighth drive on there and then a quick neck chuck, to, chuck on there really nice for taking apart cabs and plastic pieces and like low torque stuff because you try to put together something with that and you uh, break everything if you're doing small stuff underneath that it's kind of big tool drawer Big dead blow, three quarter inch ratchets, uh, inside and outside, um, snap ring pliers, and then bigger nipexes. So this, and then one bigger buried underneath there. Uh, two sizes of pipe wrenches. This is in a adjustable length pretty nice um, chain wrenches strap wrenches I don't see my strap wrench here right now right underneath hacksaw don't hardly ever use that anymore because we have power tools and yeah a couple more vice grips Under that, a couple of snap ring, or snap on bushing driver kits. It's a small one, and then the big one goes up to about two and a half inches. And then fuel line release tools, cooling system pressure tester. I wish I could fit that cooling system refiller kit in this drawer, but it just doesn't fit. So that's where all my gloves and and stuff go and this is the, the bottom drawer here
Um, this here is a pol small polar set. That's my snap ring plier kit. Those are depth micrometers. Those are micrometers up to three inch. This is a three to four inch micrometer. This is my dial indicator. And then there's that little blue kit right here. This set of small hole gauges. You use them with a micrometer to measure small holes. Um, and then this is my steering wheel puller kit right here. This is a bit and tool kit for small, uh, well, I'll just open it in a second. It has a, every different kind of bit you'll ever need. In there. Another bunch of bits in there. Def refractometer. And I should have a coolant one as well. Thought I did. Uh, AC O rings down here. Digital level. Um, with a laser on it. And then these are some more O rings. This is my coolant refractometer right here. Some stainless steel hardware, another O-ring kit. These are extractors, as well as this. So three extractor sets. And then this is a uh, sled gauge. From there is my polar drawer. Um, missing a couple longer adapters there. Uh, something's supposed to be here. But those are some bearing splitters. Basically, you hook up the H bar that pulls on these rods, which thread in these holes, these two holes, and then you pull things off, whatever. A couple different size H bars and thread tools. This is an adapter for vice grips. These are hooks for slide hammers. And then all the different little bolts that I've collected over the years and adapters for uh, going different sizes and different thread pitches and stuff. And up from there is my everything drawer, although I have more than one drawer that has more than one thing in it, but this is really everything. So if you ever need anything, just come to the everything drawer. Bunch of gauges in there. This is my uh, special tool drawer. All these tools are modified. This tool, for example, is for taking steering lines off um, on case uh, steering valves. This is a little hammer that I need to build once to get in somewhere tight to hammer. Uh, yeah, cut down wrenches, thinner wrenches, longer sockets, bent wrenches. This is, I had to build once to hook around a pipe to pull on it. And then my small tap and die sets. Standard metric. And above there. Just papers, receipts, stuff like that. Yeah. That's kind of this little corner that I work in.